second family tree started from Hazrat Ibrahim salam and Hazrat Hajra. And uh, they had a son, Hazrat Ismail salam. By the order of um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Ibrahim salam left the mother and the son in the desert. The desert which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself mentions as Wadi Ghair Zizara, that it was a desert, it was a wedi where there was no cultivation. And the mother and the son, the small young lactating infancy, in his infancy, the lactating child with the mother was left in this desert where there was no cultivation, there was not even a drop of water, no means of sustenance, no signs of life. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had asked Hazrat Ibrahim salam, to leave the mother and the son there because it was intended that Allah's house, Baitullah, was to be constructed here. And uh, here with Allah's blessings, the mother and the son, they survived and the family tree which followed them. They were the residents of Mecca and they were the family of Bani Ismail. After Hazrat Ismail salam, in this family tree, totally contrary to the Bani Israel, there was no book sent and there was no prophet sent for the next 2,500 years. Full 40 generations passed and then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was um, chosen in the family of Bani Israel and then he was also made as a seal of prophets. So. If I repeat the summary of the two families, Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Sarah, they settled in Palestine and the family tree which started from this, from these two was Bani Israel. And they were blessed with a chain of and a series of prophets and a series of the holy books. And the second family tree, Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Hajra. Hazrat Hajra and her son, Hazrat Ismail, they settled in Mecca. And the family tree which started from them was the Bani Ismail. And this family tree had just two prophets, Hazrat Ismail, and then 2,500 years, full 40 generations after Hazrat Ismail. They were blessed with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they were just given, this family tree was just given one holy book, the book of Quran. So whenever Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala talks about Bani Israel, it means the Jews and the Christians. And when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is talking about Bani Ismail, it is referring to the whole of the family tree of Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam in Makkah. So now here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing Bani Israel and is asking them to do or is ordering them to do certain things. Allah is ordering to, uh, them to do what? Allah is saying that remember, remember and mention my blessings on you. What blessings were the Bani Israel blessed with? Allah had blessed Bani Israel with, with the lots of blessings. You know, there was a chain of prophets. As Allah says, وَقَفَّيْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ بِالْغُسُلُ Prophets and messengers, and at times even two prophets, and even times when there were three prophets at a time. And then there were the divine scriptures and the holy books. They were a source of guidance. And then there were other bounties, which I shall be talking about in the next few chapters, but they were blessed. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them realize the bounties they had and then asked them to do what? Number one, to remember Allah. Number two, to be grateful to Allah, to mention and to acknowledge the blessings of Allah and to fulfill the covenants of Allah. And, uh, and then in return, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that if you fulfill covenants of Allah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill the covenants which Allah has made with the people of Bani Israel. 
And then the fourth thing which Allah ordered them after uh, making them and after reminding them of their blessings was just to fear Allah. Mm. 